Hello everyone. We have a 83 year old lady who come to emergency department from home due to poor appetite, fatigue, diarrhea and confusion. She was recently hospitalized with pneumonia for which she was treated with broad spectrum antibiotic. Well, since that time she had worsening diarrhea, diarrhea is false smelling, doesn't contain any blood, temperature is low grade fever is there, BP is on the lower side, tachycardia is there, poor skin torture. Well, there's no other interpretation other than dehydration. But we should not forget her age is 83. That point should be kept in the mind because this is a very good uh, clinical sign, especially in children and young adults. But in adults, it is an indication of dehydration. But remember, elderly people already have some because some sort of wrinkling in the skin also. Well, as far as lab reports, sodium is highly reduced. Bicarbonate in reduced, that indicate metabolic acidosis. So we are getting hyponatremia with uh, bicarbonate. Normal sodium level is 135 to 145. But in this 125, hyponatremia is there. And BUN is increased. Creatinine is, oh, almost normal. But this is highly reduced. If you look into the ratio, 62 is to 1 is to 5. The ratio is almost, you can say, 35 into 1, something like that. Okay. Well, the rest, all the reports are in the normal range. Your TTLC count is 18,000. It is increased. The stool test is positive for Clostridium difficile toxin. Well, how come this happened? Because the patient was treated with the antibiotic. Okay. But now the question is, what is the most likely to present in this? So, what we expect in these... Well, the clue that we had is patient had D. So, clue are patient was dehydrated. Of course, this could be diarrhea. Why diarrhea? Because of clostridium. There is metabolic acidosis is there. And hyponatremia is there. This other thing that we are getting it. So, what we expect in this high renin, high aldosterone and high ADH we expect why this so volume status is essential for diagnosis and causing hyponatremia sodium one less than 135 so it's a really a case of hyponatremia as i told you sodium is just 121 so this suggests depletion of salt and water even the bp is low pulse tachycardia all indicate dehydration so in our recent patient has a poor oral intake, diarrhea due to clostridium, difficile infection is there. Laboratory infusion of pre-renal azotemia. Very, very important, the BUN, BUN to creatinine ratio more than 20 to 1 is a highly suggestive of, of pre-renal failure. In our case, it is 40 is 41 is to 1. I, I, okay, definitely what I wrote was 35 is to 1. Okay, my mathematics is not so good. But it is 41 is to 1. If I hope this is also good. But definitely more than 20 is to 1. So tachycardia, hypotension, decreased skin turgor, absence of peripheral edema strongly suggests that patient has got dehydration. Now sodium is less. This occurred due to multiple pathway mechanism that elastic body prior to restore U volume at the risk of hypotonicity. Decreased renal perfusion lead to decreased tubular sodium delivery and that lead to stimulation of renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system and that causes increased sodium reabsorption. How come? Let us see. This is a nephron and normally aldosterone comes, it tends to absorb two sodium with water. Sodium is absorbed actively, water follows passively. The two sodium come in, 
वन एच आइन विल गो आउट वन पोटेशियम विल गो आउट वाई टू पॉजिटिव पार्टिकल हैव एंटर द बॉडी एज पर लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टेड बॉडी हैज टू का एक्सक्रीट टू सोडियम टू पॉजिटिव पार्टिकल वन एच आइन वन पोटेशियम गोज आउट ना वन डिहाइड्रेशन अकर्स वट द बॉडी बॉडी टाइट टू सक्रीट मोर एंड मोर एल्डोस्टेरॉन मोर एल्डोस्टेरॉन विल टाइट टू एब्जॉर्व मोर सोडियम विद वॉटर ओके एंड बट नाउ टू एक्स्ट्रा सोडियम हैव कम इन तो बॉडी हैज टू सक्रीट वन एच आई वन मोर एच आई एंड वन मोर पोटेशियम सो दैट लीड टू हाइपोकेलीमिया एंड दैट लीड टू मेटाबोलिक एल्केलोसिस वाई एच आई इज गोइंग आउट सो बट दिस सोडियम वाटर विल एब्जॉर्व विल टाइट टू मेनटेन द नॉर्मल प्लास्मा ऑफ वॉल्यूम ओके so now we understood why how the sodium will be absorbed by renin angiotensin ras system but in addition to that there is non osmotic stimulation of adh also occur well this again the nephron and we know very well adh comes and get absorbed in the collecting tubule it absorb only water it also absorb urea it has got adh got no role in the absorption of sodium but it absorb sodium and the uh, urea uh, it absorb water and urea and that's the reason that the reason urea bun is much more than creatinine so non non osmotic stimulation of adh this occur due to angiotensin 2 hypovolemia stimulate stress receptor in the left atrium hypotension stimulate baro receptor in the carotid artery these are the one which which contribute to to increase adh secretion so now let me tell you some beautiful flow chart mechanism of hypovolemic hyponatremia what happen and how body going to compensate so sodium and water loss solute here means definitely sodium chloride this lead to reduce renal perfusion hypotension and hypovolemia hypovolemia lead to hypotension hypotension will lead to reduce renal perfusion so hypovolemia lead to left atrial stretch receptor stimulation okay then hypotension lead to stimulation of baro receptor which lead to increase adh and that lead to increase water reabsorption and that contribute to hyponatremia okay and reduce renal blood perfusion lead to activation of ras that lead to ska angiotensin 2 and that it to increase thirst and that it to increase water intake so this is in summary regarding mechanism of hypovolemic hyponatremia ultimately that lead to salt and water retention helps correct hypovolemia because by adh how the setting of ongoing ata level will remain high not low until hypovolemia is corrected option c infusion or normal saline is the treatment option for hypovolemic hyponatremia as it replenishes body depleted salt stores restore you volumia shut off non osmotic stimuli for adh release which i mentioned in the previous slides option a and e high adh high urine sodium and option e low renin low aldosterone high adh are already ruled out high adh high urine sodium are characteristic of SIADH is a common cause of u volumic hyponatremia is not hypovolemic low renin and low aldosterone are characteristic feature but our patient is hypovolemic rather than u volumic hyponatremia skin tension is reduced low adh low urine sodium they are one patient with central diabetes insipidus it typically present with polyuria polydipsia normal to high urine sodium okay and high serum sodium but in our case is hyponatremia is there 
golden line to remember hypovolemic hyponatremia occurred due to non osmotic stimulation of adi secretion in response to hypovolemia hypotension and decreased renal perfusion via angiotensin 2 Restoration of blood volume, shut off non-osmotic stimulation of ADH, and corrects hyponatremia. Well, I hope you like the session. Just to inform you, we have following courses for you. Smart medicine. There are three hundred and fifty hours of pre-recorded video lecture of whole internal medicine. It includes all super specialty and allied subject. covering a to z including basic concept about every topic second we have test and discussion there are more than 1000 question which with discussion of the questions sample question and discussion you saw in this session now third thing is medicine simplified which is a textbook of medicine harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine but it is too vast reading one page of harrison you need half an hour to understand you need 2 hours but you need only 2 minute to forget what was written in that page then what is the solution we have medicine simplified it's a textbook of medicine but so called mini harrison it's a summary of what you need to read from harrison the book is available in amazon also now these three things are more than enough for your md dnb medicine and family medicine final exam preparation need ss exam preparation you don't need to read any other book these three are complete in all the aspect for more detail you can contact at this number it's a mobile at as well as whatsapp and this is my personal email id anybody want to reach to me you can contact me at this email id thank you very much